I happen to run into Brother Rashid one more time because he's still here. Brother Rashid. Yes, brother. Talk to me, man. Let the people know what's going on out all here tonight. All right, so, you know, I didn't get a chance to um, tell everybody, look, we got an app dropping out. It's called Jersey City Green Book, JC Green Book. Make sure you check that out, and it'll be available on Google Play. It'll be available on iTunes as well. So that's a good thing. What the app actually does is it connects all community. Everybody in our community is doing all the positive work. All this gathering right here, we're going to get all of that in the app. All our events, everything like that, so we can start to build with each other. We have a, a couple sections in there. One of the sections is for black-owned businesses, so we can support our own businesses in the community as well. I mean, this app is, is so detailed, we're gonna have a bunch of stuff in this app. And, you know, we wanna make sure people download that, as many people download it as possible. Let's just build on that one word that I heard you say, support. support. How important is that? Man, it's very important because, you know, we're starting to realize that there's a lot going on in our community as far as gentrification, you know, we're being displaced and everything else. There is no better time to build than right now. Right now, we need to start building. We need to start making sure that we start to own in our own community, start supporting each other within our own communities, just like everybody else is doing. Some strong words yeah, yeah. from Brother Rashid Chambers, Royal Men Foundation, yeah. OK Now TV. We out here, man. Community activists. This is what we do. Stay tuned. We out here having a good time, man. 2019 My Black bro. History Month. My bro. My bro. <laughs> That's right. Peace. They playing some classic hip hop in here tonight, so we still rocking. But I'm here, I happen to catch up with my man, RJ Davis. What brings you out tonight, good brother? Hey man, we just got finished performing, man. I want to thank them for having us, man. This is a great event, man. Black excellence at its finest. For those that don't know, man, tell us what you got going on, man. So I have a stage play that I wrote, directed, produced. It's called Man of the House. It's about domestic abuse, where the man is the victim instead of the abuser. So it's a different spin on it. We have uh, Monifa in it, uh, Jay Bug, Willie Tell from Day 26. We've been running now, we're going into our fifth year. So this October, we'll be back. Let the people know where they can see it, man, or hook up with you on uh, social media. I don't know. For sure, man. Everything is A Diamond ENT. A Diamond ENT.com, A Diamond ENT on Facebook and Instagram. 2019 Black History Month kickoff. When we talk about black history, man, what comes to your mind? Man, of course you think about Martin, of course, Malcolm, of course. But man, I just think about how much blacks in general have contributed, you know what I mean, to the overall society from peanut butter to perms to the street lights. Like, we got it, man. You know what I mean? I just think it's time for us to come together as a people and gain our place on top. Who inspired you coming up? Singing-wise, I would have to say Donnie Hathaway. Stevie Wonder, in the current generation, I would say John Legend. Yeah, yeah. And gospel, of course, Daryl Coley, uh, Karen Clark, people like that. Yeah, yeah. There you have it. My main man, Andre, got some big things in the works. Y'all stay tuned. Check out the play, man. You know what I'm saying? Tony Perkins, 2019 Black History Month kickoff. We out here having a good time. Stay tuned. Peace. We still rocking. 2019 Black History Month kickoff. I happen to catch up with a good brother who putting in a lot of work in Jersey City and all around, saving the babies. My man, Educational Gilmore. What brings you out tonight, good brother? Hey man, it's just a night to come out to refresh, enjoy the culture, network, and just have a good time, man. That's all it's about, having a good time, man. How important is it to support good brothers like Bruce Austin who throw events like this? First and foremost, I want to thank Bruce for doing this event, for acknowledging the heritage. And secondly, it's about supporting the brother. You know what I mean? That's what makes this, this camaraderie good. That's what makes this camaraderie cohesive is the support you have for one another. I am thy brother's keeper. You're doing a lot of work in the community. For those that don't know, let the people know what you got going on. Oh yeah, man, Educational Gilmore Community Learning Center, man, mentoring service, speaking engagements, and it's just about giving back to the community. So many times we get caught up in 
trying to make as much as we can make and move from the community. I chose to do the opposite. I try to make as much as I can make, but I want to stay in the community. I want kids to see real life examples as opposed to hearing about it. So, I mean, it's just a great thing to serve the community, man. 2019 Black History Month. When we talk about Black History Month, what comes to your mind? Whoa, whoa, whoa. First and foremost, we can't quantify our history and, and, and diminish it into just one month, you know? But on that note, man, I mean, Black History Month is just a, a glimpse at the greatness and the contribution of our people to this land. And, and it's huge. And like I said, man, while there is a Black History Month, I tried to celebrate Black History Month from February 1st to February 1st of the following year. Wow. That's what it's about. From February 1st to February 1st to the following year. Yes, sir. That's what we do. Educational Gilmore, saving the community. Stay tuned. OK Now TV got a lot more. 2019 Black History Month kickoff. We out here having a good time. Stay tuned. Peace. Absolutely. Entertainment was beautiful, but I happened to catch up with one of the good brothers. What brings you out tonight? Well, uh, Bruce Austin. Uh, I go back a couple years with him. I've been living in Jersey City for 20 years. Uh, I serve on the Environmental Commission, and I'm also one of the committee folks for downtown. Uh, and uh, Bruce, Bruce was, you know, someone who's been very active in the business community in real estate. And uh, on my professional side, I uh, do some consulting for um, the real estate development industry. Uh, for engineers and designers in sustainable, uh, sustainable cities. So the moment Bruce told me, he's like, Alex, you got to come out tonight. I was like, it's already on my schedule, man. You don't have to ask me twice. So I'm really happy to be here. It's a fantastic event, a lot of great networking, a lot of great folks, and it's just good to see like, how resilient Jersey City's community is on, to come out on such a cold night and get such a vibrant sense of like civic engagement and support and, and you know people back in our hometown boy like Bruce. So I felt obligated, man. I couldn't miss this. And it's been a fantastic evening. So it's a beautiful night. 2019 Black History Month kickoff. What does that mean to you? Uh, I got to be very honest with you. I always felt that, you know, why, why just a month and why the shortest month of the year? Uh, but, you know, I feel very obligated to, to black history. I have a nephew um, whose mother is black. My brother married um, uh, my sister-in-law a couple years ago. And when I look at, like, serious issues in the black community, I know these are issues that, I mean, by God, I hope they go away by the time my nephew is in his, like, teens. He's five years old. So, you know, when I think of public security and when I think of unemployment and education, um, I really like to see those policy issues um, be applied and be better understood how they affect the black community, whether it's, you know, still trying to get over the recession from, you know, almost 10 years ago, uh, you know, to look at how disproportionate the black community was affected and still affected like that, whether it's in urban areas or in like the Rust Belt, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan. Um, I think we have a lot of reason for hope, um, especially after the, the midterm elections, a lot more black representation. And I think that's that should give us uh, not only hope, but really should give us, um, you know, a sense of joy and, and, and a sense of like pride because, you know, like it or not, you know, we're working on the civic project together and this American democracy has to be inclusive. So, you know, while I celebrate the month, I try to celebrate it all other 12, you know, all other 11 months of the year. So, and I have to, I, it's my family. There you have it. Couldn't have said it no better. My good brother, 2019 Black History Month kickoff. We got a lot more coming. We having a good time tonight. Okay, now TV is definitely in effect. Peace. It's a beautiful night, man. We still rocking. I happened to catch up with a brother that I grew up with. 
longtime Jersey City resident, my man, Elnardo Webster. What brings you out tonight, brother? Just want to show support for, for my man Bruce and for what he's trying to do, bringing everybody together, trying to make the town a little better, doing it for the culture. 2019 Black History Month kickoff. When we mention Black History, what comes to your mind? Uh, just some of the greats from our community, guys that we grew up admiring, uh, Glenn Cunningham, some of the folks that, you know, put it, made it, made it possible for us to be here. Uh, so, you know, just some of the local folks that have done uh, a lot of work to make a party like this be available to all of us. For those that don't know, man, tell the, tell the people what you got going on. Uh, just doing a lot of real estate development, uh, represent a lot of developers all throughout the state, throughout the eastern seaboard, and just trying to uh, rebuild our communities and do it in a sensible way, uh, making sure that people don't get pushed out, making sure that we've got affordability built into all our projects. So trying to do it the right way. How important are events like this to bring the people together as a community during this time of the month? How important is that? Um, I think it's great. I think, you know, I've walked into some people here I haven't seen in 10, 15, some 20, 30 years. So I think that we need more of these type of opportunities, more of these type of events. We've got an amazing amount of genius in our community. And for us to be able to get together, work together, network together, and make positive things happen, I think that's what it's all about. And don't get no better than that. You heard it from my man, Elnardo Webster, Jersey City's own. Stay tuned. OK Now TV got you covered. Peace.